Since I was a child, I, um, I've had it on my heart that I would adopt a child at some point. The Lord had spoke to me as a little girl that, um, that adoption would be part of my life's goal. And then we got married and we had our biological children and I brought it up to Wayne several times and he was like, um, uh, I'm really not feeling that. Finally, back in 2016, I finally brought it up to him and I said, our kids are getting older. If we're gonna do this, it's now. And so I said, and he said, okay, well, tell me what kinds of adoption there are. And I kind of went through, you know, there's this kind of adoption and this and this, and there's foster care. And I'm thinking that we're not doing that. Yeah, so I came back uh, three weeks later and I was like, well, I just really feel like foster care is the direction we should be going. So we went to the initial orientation and we're like, well, this isn't so bad. Uh, let's go through and start the training process. And we were waiting. And the first text Lauren got was for supposedly one little girl, uh, about three. And when we actually, after she said yes, we reread the text and it was two. And we're like, well, two little girls, three and one. That's, that's no big deal. We can do that for a weekend. Uh, just for a temporary respite. We just fell in love with these kids and we said, okay, if you ever need respite again, we'll do it. It wasn't too many months later, they called us and said, okay, we need respite for these four for a week, all four of them. And we're like, okay, well, it's just a week. We can do a week. We took all four for a week and we had a wonderful week. It was over Easter, um, it was beautiful. We said, okay, if you ever need to move them, we'll take them. And so it wasn't too many months later, they called us and said, well, we're gonna have to move these four. And so we're like, okay, deep breath. We're gonna take all four. We quickly realized that it was um, ministering to their, to their family as much as it was ministering to the kids. And one of those children, while they, they were with us, uh, received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And that was just like the icing on the cake. And just getting to encourage their mom and watch her work so hard to get her kids back. And my heart was just went out to, my mother's heart went out to her mother's heart. And we just got to bond and got to minister to her and encourage her and love on her. And um, just see her blossom under that encouragement. And just to watch that come to fruition and her, her be reunited with her kids and then moved back home. I mean, I thought that would be the hardest part of foster care was watching them leave. And it ended up being the best part of foster care was watching that family get reunited. We had one teenage young lady come through and she'd run away from her foster parent. So we get her and we're like, we have no idea what to expect. We, you hear run away and you expect someone rebellious. Mm -hmm. She comes into our home and that's not the person we see. We see this young lady that's scared and just is needing someone to tell her where to go. And we just showered her with love and she just started crying in our living room. Mm -hmm. Just when we said we were proud of her. Came to Joy Church with us and got saved here, got baptized here, changed her complete outlook on life and the direction of her life. Seeing three of the foster kids that have come through our house, come to Joy Church, get saved, mm -hmm. and have their eternal destinies changed forever. Just to see how God can um, move through you and use your, you know, your obedience to just have this such a widespread impact. It's amazing. Mm -hmm.